Hi, my name is Cuba Gooding Jr. and you're watching Playbill.com. Oscar winner Cuba Gooding Jr., recently seen as Billy Flynn in the London Company of Chicago, will reprise the role on Broadway beginning October 6. You, you get certain feathers thrown into your, your hat, you know, winning the Oscar, you know, doing certain performances with certain co-stars, but doing a musical, a musical that has ran for 20 some odd years, was that emotional high that you get as an actor every once in a while. Billy Flynn is everything that you want to love about a lawyer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like the master manipulator, the the the, the, the seducer, you know. And I and this Billy Flynn's a little more pimp than the other ones have been. So you'll see a little bit of the razzle dazzle, the street razzle dazzle, uh, hence the braids. And uh, and he's just one of those characters that again that just pops off the stage and into the audience. Gooding Jr., who won the Academy Award for his work in Jerry Maguire, made his Broadway debut in 2013 in The Trip to Bountiful, and he's making his film directorial debut this year. The play was emotionally draining. We were dealing with, you know, Horton Foote's play, which dealt with grief and losing a parent, and, um, you know, that was hard, eight shows a week, six days a week. A musical is physically challenging. Explain it to a lot of guys I play hockey with and box with. I say, you've always, as an athlete, been tr trained to breathe when you're doing something physical. But you need your breath to sing. So when you're doing both at the same time, it makes it twice as hard. Well, uh, we have our, my directorial debut, Bayou Caviar, coming out in theaters. I'm very excited for people to see that. First off, we shot in Louisiana, New Orleans, during the summer. 120 degree temperature with 100% humidity on an alligator ranch. <gasps> That, whatever that means to you, that's what it was to us. It was scary as hell, but I had the best crew, the most devoted crew. Uh, the city of New Orleans and, and the state of Louisiana are, are just the most, they, they love film, they love cinema, and they treated us with open arms, and I think we, we really did something special with this piece.